We need Witcher 3 Arena. Open Witcher 3 Arena. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Where Geralt just goes, Hup. No. Ah. Uh-uh. <laughs> when I hit people with my sword, it goes, Doop. <laughs> Welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly. The show covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. I'm Old Man Vin here at LGC Actual, switching the bits in our little downtown Athens studio and joined every week by Jordan Swang in Ontario, Toronto land. That's right. It's Toronto, sure, Ontario. Right yeah, sure. Toronto, Same place yeah, yeah. next to each other, right? West Coast. Ontario, Toronto. Yeah. Space Canada. I don't know. Speaking Space of Space Canada. Canada. <laughs> Not on the Isle of Man, <laughs> but the man on the Isle. One Pedro Mateus. Together with you, Shed Realm Dynamic, helping us form Cocaine Voltron. He's here to save the day. I think Spanida is like what happens when Canada and Spain do the fusion dance. Fight. (laughs) Spanida. Yeah. Would you fuck it? Spanida. Like, like, yeah, Spanida. It's like like maple syrup covered paella. What what is the uh, national animal of Spanida? The duck billed platypus. Nailed it. What's up? made out of spare parts and somehow still venomous. Yeah, still venomous, man. <laughs> yeah, the superior form of life. That's all I'm Dude, saying. 100%. Uh, let's see. I've been playing around a lot with the Focusrite um, Solo Generation 4, which I've had for a while. I just hadn't had a chance to get around to it for interfacing Linux. And it's a fun little audio interface. A bunch of surprising things in there. You know, Scarlet uh, Focusrite actually came and helped the guy out to write the um, mixer GUI utility, which we could do things like update firmware and control the mixing and routing inside of it. But it's also got some downsides. Uh, I have some questions about it really being gen forthiness. So um, I got to get that together. I'll probably have that out, hopefully by the end of next week. But that's really all I got going outside of that new Transformers movie trailer. I'm like, man, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Let me know Maybe it will be more than meets the eye. Jordan Swag outside of a uh, fighting um, Jason. Just, just, pe- just, just people. No. <laughs> Jason. Yes, I'm, fighting, Jason. I'm, I'm fighting Jason Statham nonstop. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I thought he was talking about Jason. Jordan's like, nah, dude, Jason. J- yeah, J- Jason Statham, uh, Jason Momoa. Just all, I, I walk outside and I'm attacked on all sides by Jasons. J- Jason and the Argonauts, all of them. Um, no, no, now I have Jordan with the uh, overlay. Press X to Jason. <laughs> well, the, the, see, the the thing is, people keep calling me fucking Jason. Do I look like a Jason? Do I do I give off a Jason vibe? You're asking the wrong person. I was born in the non English speaking. Do, do, do I do I give a Jason vibe? Yeah, then, Jason. In, then, all right. Yeah, in, in, in Portugal, know. right? Like L Jason. I don't know. Um, you look like what's his name? Um, Jason. <laughs> Jason from Heavy Rain. I look exactly like that child. Jason, Jason. No, the the the, the actor dude, the uh, um of the Stoner movies. <laughs> I, I don't know so, names. So so, of so, so so the 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 answer is no. I I don't strike you as a Jason. No. I just get confused because no. people keep calling me Jason, and it's been a recurring thing. When people don't remember their my name, they call me Jason, and I don't understand why. That. Yeah, that's my update. Thank, thank you for coming to my TED Talk. No problem. What's up with your, what's in your dragon book? Um, monster stats. Ah. Um, yeah. Uh, Is there any interesting of, facts about dragons that we need to know? Uh, their breath weapon does 1d8 per hit dice damage, and you gotta make a save or you're gonna get fucked. Seems oh. legit. <laughs> No, Seth Rogen, that's his name. <laughs> Pedro I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't really feel like I look like him anymore. Maybe when I was, like, way oh, fatter. But I like, don't know what Seth Rogen looks like, man. Never have. Uh, I'm, I'm sure if you pointed at him, I'm like, yeah, probably. I wouldn't fight you on it. I, <laughs> just, I used to get Hurley from Lost a lot. Yeah, I could see that. I could see that. Yes. Now, see, now I want to pause the show. I'm like, whatever happened to Hurley, man? He was kind of cool. <laughs> when you're not busy buying apology donuts, Pedro, have you taken a break to get up to anything this week uh not really work have you put some kinda... shoe polish on your car to make it no but i did buy the um auto glim plastic restorer and uh i haven't applied it yet because it's been raining 
and I hear that it's a little bit of a pointless exercise if you apply it, and it immediately rains on it afterwards. <laughs> so I kind of want to let it dry out properly. So I'm 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 waiting until the weather improves a bit. <laughs> it's just a nice transparent shower. <laughs> yes, uh, with all the crap that's on the car that goes over the thing that you just uh, scrubbed. Do yes. it. <laughs> Bring it. We're never going to be able to scrub the horse. It's allergic to the baths. It doesn't I like mean, water. It's not even amphibious. It's not even a plat a plat it, does, it, it doesn't want no scrubs. A scrub isn't anyone who's going to get your steam. Hanging on your passenger side of his best friend's ride, trying to holler at me. Well, so BDC <laughs> um, had had some talks. Um, you can you can peruse them now. Um, but one of them was how to get the most out of your your Steam uh, experience as a developer. Because it turns out, according to this talk, um, there is actually quite a lot of visibility that Steam provides uh, in terms of getting you know games in front of people's faces that. When people are talking about discoverability on Steam, they're not really taking advantage of the tools available. I'm just looking at his slides, dude, and I'm like, what about UFOs, bro? Yeah, <laughs> dude, I want to believe. Like, fucking, <laughs> like, yeah, Agent Scully just comes out from the side of the stage and clotheslines him before he can yes. start talking. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there's a couple tips. Uh, number one, translation. Um, make sure that your stuff is available in other languages. It may seem like an upfront expense, but they are. Yes, there are two Steam stores. Um, well, the the the, the secret. Wake one. There's up, also the, There's also the There's also the chocolate store too, but we'll get yes. to that in a minute. Um, so, um, getting getting stuff translated into uh, simplified Chinese, Korean, Japanese, and figs, aka French, Italian, German, and Spanish, are going to be your best bets for getting. Uh, even if it's just the game page and not the game itself, that's better mm -hmm. than nothing because apparently lots of non-English speakers play demo. There's also the matter of, you know, if you actually talk to Valve people and you get them to like your game, sometimes like just nepotism works. If they know you and <laughs> like you, then they'll just promote your game more. I mean, wouldn't um, it be harder to like show examples of nepotism not working? <laughs> that's just I, I, I mean, in the, in the long term, yes. But in the short yeah, term for getting that specific could... goal, yeah. You could have uh, that person that everyone knows and they just don't like, so... <laughs> but the other thing is, conventional wisdom is don't launch your game at the same time that AAA games are launching at the same time. But apparently, that advice is bullshit because everyone is doing that, and so all those carousel slots are up for grabs. So if you, if you want to get eyes on your game, launch it at around the same time there's a big game coming out because because uh, those guys are paying for ads. No one else wants to compete for them, so... It's all up, uh, all up for grabs. Uh, and apparently also, if you make over a million dollars on Steam, uh, you, they'll send you chocolates. So now I know how to get free candy out of Valve without having to sneak up to Gabe's van that is like white and unmarked <laughs> and goes directly to his super yacht. Uh, a $300 yeah. box of chocolate if you make a million dollars a year. Um, <laughs> I mean, I, as, as I am curious what a $300 box of chocolate, yes, I will as, admit to that. <laughs> as someone who will do quite a bit for free chocolate, this seems entirely reasonable. <laughs> uh, okay, hang on. Now, uh, see, I was hoping to see something on eBay. Some, nobody's selling the Steam box. I want to see what it looks like, right? <laughs> Yeah, right. I, I, I don't think it's branded by them. They you, probably just buy like a you want to believe it's not, but I want to believe. <laughs> yes, it is. I want to believe I, I, it's yeah. not. It, it, it's, they just it's, it's buy a, a fancy box of chocolate. No, from no, someone no, no, else. no, 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 Pedro. It's it's a box of chocolates in the shape of G Man's head, and you open it up, and there are chocolates inside. <laughs> it comes in a steam controller case. <laughs> Well, yeah, they, they have to they have to use up all those old steam controller boxes. Yeah. They just threw them out. So they just sent chocolates in them. So yeah, I mean, the whole point of the talk uh, there'll be a link to everything, including a direct link to the entire talk itself. Uh, dude had a bunch of slides to get through, which he did. And uh, yeah, the takeaway is like, you know, get paid. You know, you you're giving them thirty percent. Get some use out of it, right? Yes. It, it, if you are paying them the thirty percent, you milk that shit. You milk it until they tell you it's like, all right cool it <laughs> yeah and you know don't com comparing yourself to these chocolate receipts is a fool's errand dude if, if you've got multiple boxes of chocolate from valve you're doing all right 
It's I just have multiple right. boxes of chocolate, so I'm not doing so. <laughs> like the, these are developers that are playing a different game than you are. You know, there's they, they got their chocolate box stack. And you're like, how many you got? Their <laughs> sticky fingers are all light at their keyboards, just like gooping them up. <laughs> right, or they're dead of diabetes because three hundred dollar chocolate. Now, could you could you like save that, or would you be like a five dollar milk and shake and be like, I gotta know what this tastes like. Oh, no, I, 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 I do I would, want I to know what it tastes open. like. Mm. <laughs> I'm uh, curious. I'm genuinely now, curious. I, what do, the hell do you think, do you think that would incentivize you to get another million in sales yes, just so you I, could I, have one closed? <laughs> no, 100%. If I get hungry, I'm like, I got to start writing down some game ideas because mm. I want some free chocolate. <laughs> That's the only way to get it done. A couple of new games this week, starting with uh, a naughty word, according to one um, Jordan. Yes, according, <laughs> according to me, according I didn't to remember that, your name. I was going to call you something else there for a minute, man. <laughs> I, I think you were, I thought you were like looking for the Korean version of my name, <laughs> which I think it's just Jordan. Um, but uh, yeah, I learned this on the playground as a child, and I had to look this up because I wasn't sure about it, and I didn't want to spout non-truths on the internet, unlike some people. Shiba, uh, a new dawn. Shiba in Korean means fuck. I just want you to know that. So it's actually <laughs> fuck a new dawn. Um, but it's a 2D, it's a 2D platformer, Metroidvania style. Um, the, the, oh, the map is like very much Metroid. Uh, but the vibe kind of reminds me a bit of like a flash game, but like, that's not an insult. Um, like it's, it's just the, the way that like the, the foreground and the background don't really blend together reminds me a lot of like flash games, but this is like one of those good ass flash games that like someone put a lot of time and effort into and that actually looks good. So yeah. I don't know. I'm yeah. getting like some Prince of Persia type vibes with it. And anytime I see like Metroidvania side scroller uh, platform, I'm like, mm, I'll take a look at it. And really the only, my only complaint with anything, I, the art style is like, yeah, this looks like what you see a lot of uh, modern um, 2D Metroidvania. This is done in that style of like, not really uh, cohesive, like rigging on the characters. They just yeah, don't, don't seem to move dolls. quite right. Right. And, yeah. you know, hey, that could have been a choice. It might not be. The only uh, problem I have with any of that is that jump animation is, like, silly. It's silly. <laughs> it's just silly. I could live with the jumping animation. It's the, because uh, I was watching, like, the pre-recorded video that they're pretending is a live broadcast of the game. Uh, everything is a fucking damage sponge. And um, we have uh, Simon Belmont at home with a budget Cortana there. Uh, they're not. It's called know, Alexa. They're, thank you very much. <laughs> they're, they're fine. They they look okay. Uh, but the enemies being damaged sponges, it's not. That's the thing that gets me to look at your game and go, no. I know Pedro. Uh, Pedro likes one shot, one kill. That's why he's a huge fan of Souls likes. I do. <laughs> But, As it turns out, if you spec out your character pretty good on the first Dark Souls, uh, yeah, you can pretty much two shot most bosses. <laughs> but are you are you really are you really adhering to the spirit of the game at that point, or are you just being a little cheapo? Uh, yeah. <laughs> if the game's it's Pedro, he's going you to, to do go that out of without... his way in front load to find the <laughs> easiest way to get through it. I mean, that's me too. Honestly, I'm not going to talk shit about that. I am grind with like the level 300 Pidgey against Brock. That's fine. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, like Damage Sponge, I'll say that that's one of the reasons I've never uh, enjoyed playing the Borderland series. Like, that, you couldn't that is, get into it. I click on a fucking I head. I click on a fucking series. head. It better blow the <laughs> fuck up. All right. And if that, a number pops up, I'm like, the fuck out of here. The, this, this is me with Outer Worlds right now. Is Number one, I'm trying to get out of the headspace of Tiny Tina, which uh -huh. the shooting mechanics are very, very different <laughs> in that. So I'm like, I can't parkour or like slide anymore. And I need to make that adjustment. Mm. Um, and, and number two, you have yeah, the uh, slow motion. <laughs> yeah, but what do we uh, got up next? The bolt sponge, symphonic steel. Oh <laughs> yes, uh, you can uh, make that steel make some truly magical and musical noises, or not. It's steel symphony. It's a space MOBA two D type of situation. See, this where... is the problem with space: is that red line. Yes. Yeah, so. Always gets in my nerves. Every time I'm in space, it's like this fucking red line shows up. I'm like, God damn it. Yeah, the, the, there's a red line around you uh, at every time in space. Uh, just you got to be careful of it. But yeah, it is very much a MOBA boiled down to its very core elements. It's just 2D and you have a team of uh, four or five people and the opponents have a, a similar team. It's online. It's online PvP. Uh, so 
Speaking I don't know, of, give it a try. It's free. That's the, the interesting part here is that it's free. <laughs> so, yes, uh, uh, speak, speaking of Flash games, this is actually a spiritual successor to uh, Steel Sentinels, which was a Flash game. Mm. Uh, that, so, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder but, if they yeah, take yeah, enough time to try to explain the lore of the red box. <laughs> it's like the bla- it's like the blackout zone, like in three body problem. The show hasn't gotten to that point yet, but may- maybe it will until hey, it cases. includes a know. level editor, PVP over land, online PVP, online coop. Yep. Um, Solid. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to complain with that. Uh, pretty dope. Always like to see it. But what do we got next? Oh, can, can you pronounce this, Ven? Fuck you. I pronounced it earlier. <laughs> I don't, don't want to hear you say it. I want to hear Ven say it. V. 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 V stands for vengeance. Don't get too excited yet, though, kids. I know because some people are like, oh my God, it's because I know this is a popular thing. I've like, I'd heard those words spoken before, you know, enough times. I'm like, that's a thing I've heard of. Publisher is Sega. Now, why are we bringing this up? Well, you know, but this was a former. Well, that was some butt, wasn't it? Um, <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of that. It's one of those games. This yes. game was a former <laughs> Switch exclusive, and this is not native. It's Unreal Engine. Why are we talking about it? Well, they've taken the time because this doesn't come out until the uh, June 14th or last year. Right. A little, little over a month. A little mm-hmm. over a month. But why are we talking about it? Well, if we scroll down here, they've taken the time to get Steam Deck verified. Yay! Yay everybody. <laughs> there it is. Wait, uh, you need to move that up a little higher, Valve. I'm just going to be the one saying that. Well, uh, to be fair, if you're looking at it on the Steam Deck, it shows up at the top of the page. <laughs> but what about the other 12 to 17 of us that are... <laughs> you're using Steam charts. That's for real. Dude. Uh, I, I had to ask because I'd never played the game, and I, I don't think I'm going to be playing the game, but uh, Steam's like, hey, it's it's similar to The Witcher 3 and uh, Near Replicate. I'm like, is it now? And uh, it, it, both, it both of these lads were like, absolutely not. <laughs> like, yeah, like, no, it's, it's technically an RPG. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> In that uh, respect. I, I, uh-huh. I'm sure like a similar number of zeros follow like the budget and that's what they have in common. But yeah, this like Shin Megami Tensei is basically Pokemon. Okay. Like, it, 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 it is. It is. Instead um, of monsters, you're uh, fighting demons and gods, but yes. I mean, that's and, what and Pokemon one very are. green penis on a chariot. Dude. <laughs> this brings up a couple of things, man. Uh, this always gets me thinking, like, good on them, good on Sega. You know, we're, I'm always going to give sh- Sega a shout out anytime they go through, like, you know, early time to make sure anything works on the deck because I want to be in their good graces when that Golden Axe comes out with multiplayer. If we play the snot out of that, that's going to be a good time. But it makes me drive back around to uh, just having to think about the Steam performance not being a metric in the verification process. Like, it's just not. What do they check in the Steam ver- verification progress? Have you guys checked lately? Do you have any idea uh, off the top of your head without clicking on the link right there and taking a look and saying, oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, in front of the I, Steam I, I, deck, I they check if uh, it shows a native uh, controller. Uh, if it uh, the text is readable if the um if you if you can actually like input text with the on-screen keyboard without having to like yes if it pulls up the uh on-screen keyboard automatically without you manually having to summon it the uh there was also the game settings they have to like the de- if the default game settings don't give you a playable frame rate that also disqualifies you playable frame rate hmm yeah, I'm not seeing that one, Pedro. Uh, there's um, D- uh, display I don't know if it's default the configuration. Page. The game must ship with the default on configuration the, like, on deck that results in a playable frame rate. Ah, do they mess? Do they say what the playable frame rate is? They do not define what playable they, frame rate. All right, is. Does, cool. I don't think it's defined. <laughs> Shrug emoji. Uh, so yeah, controller support, controller glyphs, resolution, default can text, uh, no device compatibility, and launchers. Da da da. That'll get you. You're good to go. We've talked about this before. Does it run? Like, the, the, I don't like that squishiness. I'd be like, I would be very happy for Steam Deck owners and everybody else to be able to extrapolate from saying, hey, on like low, low, whatever, can, can you hold like four, but 45 is a, a sweet spot for the deck, right? I, 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 I think OLED, the original I, deck is like 40. 
I, I and and I, I think they're, they're even at the beginning they were saying like their 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 performance floor they're looking at seven twenty thirty, um, but like I don't I don't know play when when you bring a playable frame rate like it's different for every game like solitaire mm-hmm. does not have oh, the it's same crazy frame subjective rate man yeah, like yeah. I've learned you know I think a lot of people even at home you've learned years and years ago when people are like hey how does it run you're like it's acceptable and that person's idea of acceptable seven twenty p with everything smashed to low at you know twenty fps. And right like, and but and like but if you're playing like a visual novel like it doesn't fucking matter how doesn't many matter. Second, yeah like yeah so. um then you get a balance and stuff like that but for action games I, d- I don't think that's a reason not to um mm-hmm. include just that seems like a very basic metric of like and you got steam refunds so it's not that big a deal but it would just be nice to be able to browse through that be like yeah uh, i'm gonna have to like look up a guide to find out exactly what it, performance it, i need to just dial in just like this in order it, to get it kind it, it of still okay. feels bad too as well like when you boot up the game and it's like oh this thing runs like shit i guess mm-hmm. i gotta return it now you were looking forward to it right like it, right. it's not a, it's not a pleasant experience you want to avoid that but, possible. you know <laughs> you're they're still going to be able to capture your sale because if you're like me uh, like unless it just doesn't run at all i'll be like i'll have two thoughts i have one dumbass you just deserve it eat it i'm like fine <laughs> Or two, you know what? XKCD that shit. In five to six years, you're going to be able to play it. Just slide it over there, man. Yeah. There, there, there might be a wine update in like, in like eight to eight to twelve months that are right. like. By the way, we fixed all this. Now fucking all of a sudden, shit. this game yeah. just works. Now, um, yeah, brilliant stuff like that. Yeah, Valve, if you're listening, that that would just be a, a nice little hint, or like, you know, let's say it can hit thirty, like, or forty-five, or say what it can hit. Like that's not a big deal. Can it, can it hit 720p 30 on the Switch? Because then I think it can hit whatever on the Steam Deck. I I, I got a, a warning when I first started. Um, it wasn't Evil West. It was uh, Weird West. Weird West. That's the one. Um, when I started, it's like the default configuration provides you with uh, an acceptable performance. So it's like like out of the box, it tells you, yeah, go to the settings. Cut off ray tracing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, because it defaults everything to Ultra, which even on the 6700XE, the 6700XE is not enough to play that game on Ultra at 2560 by 1440. It's just not. <laughs> so. Wait. Is that the fucking stick figure game? No, that's no. that's what's the loathing. Oh, okay. Yes, that, 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 that helps my brain so much, dude. I'm like, what? <laughs> listen, listen, it is, it is written very, very poorly. It is a bad piece of software. It is a great, fantastic game, engineering wise. Complete trash fire. <laughs> it's like duty stick game again. I was like, I, I believe it. Unfortunately, you know, doing what we do, but uh, like, Wait, okay. oh yeah, this the Super Mario Brothers clone that takes four gigabytes. Why the game? You know, I saw somebody <laughs> on our game dev have a conversation. He's like, "What do I do about these old reviews? I've finally gone and updated my game to where uh, it doesn't have the per- performance issues that it did, but I have like three or four reviews accusing it of being a Bitcoin miner because <laughs> it was so horribly <laughs> unoptimized. We were like, you know, we've had remember that chess game." Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that required at minimum an eight core. <laughs> yeah, like but that, we, that, that was like designed as a stress test, though, wasn't it? No, it wasn't. It, no? The reason I think Pedro and I remember it's because like we mentioned that, and the developer got real snippy real quick. He was like, "Yeah, no, it's not out," <laughs> and then the game just disappeared. Mm. <laughs> yeah, and yes, children, get off our lawns. This was back in the time where you could actually find bitcoins with a CPU. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. Well, technically, you still can. I mean, it just yeah, takes a very long time. I mean, that, well, that well, well, you'll be alive. Seven, I got my Raspberry Pi Zero Two W just yeah. hammering on it. Maybe yeah. one day. Will, will, will you get your Bitcoin within your natural lifespan? That is, that is. No, the no, I'm gonna hand it down. <laughs> it's gonna be in the will. <laughs> Our next update. Um, it's kind of surprising. Team Fortress Two. Has I would say over the last you know sixteen months got more updates than it has in the past couple of years, which is good. Well, the community did complain a lot that it wasn't getting any <laughs> at all. Overrun by bots, no attention, and um, you know it's free to play games. So, you know it's there to sell you some hats and some short shorts and whatever else you want to put on. You know, and Valve is kind of like, okay, we're we're gonna do some work. We're gonna do some updates. And this is a big one. They've added 64-bit support for Windows and Linux clients and server, which is pretty dope. Valve said this should include performance updates for most users. This patch increases TF2's maximum FPS from a measly, barely playable 300 
<laughs> to something <laughs> a little closer to reality, a 400 FPS. And Sli- slightly acceptable. Something they don't tell you in this update, but it is there because, you know, you got you got to go like, I bet they did 100% more Vulcan launch options. You can throw the uh, Vulcan flag on it, a little dash Vulcan, and get your LL. A P's going on. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm good to see this. Uh, now, Jordan, you bring up a funny point uh, about um, yeah. At first, it's it's the 64 bit client. It's like, okay, <laughs> does does the server actually use more than like four four gigs of memory? Does does it matter if it's a pure 64 bit yeah, right. application? And I immediately went back to this guy gave a talk about setting up uh, making a, a Team Fortress server with 100 players. And right. They went through that and they just kept buying more and more uh, cores and throwing it out and they're like why isn't this working then they finally like somebody cracked open htop and found out that the server was single threaded yeah (laughs) right yeah due diligence Uh, part of the the other part of the reason why tf2 is getting all these updates is because there's a shit ton of remote code execution and exploits happening uh there there was some uh, custom decals that other people could spray that would cause your client to crash that no longer works so that that's also nice no more grief from the from the new DD town. D- but isn't details, it fun details. to have little things like that? I, I mean, back <laughs> back in the day, you had the you spray painted the naked lady on the wall in Counter Strike to distract the motherfuckers. Uh-huh. You get, they're like, ooh, boobies, and then you shoot them in the back of the head. And right? it worked. Like, that was, <laughs> I mean, there, there, there was a certain amount of charm when you could legitimately get away with telling somebody to hit Alt F4 to open the secret menu. Right. Yeah. F10. <laughs> in Source games, it's F10. It's like, how do I do this? F10. Control W Goodbye. to pay respects. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's all part of the hazing and learning process, but I'm Learn, learning keyboard shortcuts, man. Right. Uh, it's, seven, it's happening. Oh my God. Like, what the fuck? It's the end of the world. This is. This is marked on the end times, man. I went and checked my um, revised Mayan calendar, man. They put out a new one after 2012. And it turns out this game was on it. Seven Days to Die is one of our um, last standing. Predating early access, steam, green light, and all that. Well over 12 years. It's finally coming out of early access. And uh, they're very excited about that. And uh, I'm just like, cool, I guess. Now, if you don't know, it is online zombies. What the fuck's going on with these trade? Like, hang on. <laughs> we we got to go take a trip here. They have a live action trailer now. I guess they do, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> From the look of it. <laughs> Got plenty of man leg in there. Not enough butt for my taste. Aww. But they they gotta take some notes from the Shin Megami Tensei 5 trailer and just have like way more cake. <laughs> Tons of side boob. Now, one of the most in- this game released date 2013 to give you an idea how long this has been early access. This has been like one of the Star 13 Wars. 13 years, man. Dude, 2499 it's, it's, and it's, it's a man. <laughs> <laughs> Did they set the date uh, when they uh, are going to be releasing? They had a detailed FAQ, which is... Comprehensive FAQ here. I'm on the wrong one. Where did I go? I'm on the wrong page. I'm doing a horrible thing. There we go. Did they say on the FAQ when it's going to like actually uh, come uh, June. 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 Oh, it's going to be another June one. Yep. Oh, they, man. They, 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 they don't give a day. Uh, they're hoping for console launch in July. Uh, and then some uh, content packs in uh, late in uh, Q4 uh, and Q, uh, Q4 2024 uh, and 2025. Now, again, 12 years, they're still working on finishing some of those Kickstarter <laughs> stretch goals. So they're on it. Don't worry about it. They'll get it eventually. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the price is going to go up from 24 bucks to 44.99 and earlier. Pedro floored both of us and maybe yourself a little bit by looking up the online player cup because I was sitting there going, I don't know, maybe, maybe, maybe like 200. He was like, no, it's a crazy amount. I'm like, 1,200 online players? <laughs> well, no, I was, I, I was expecting something like 5,000. No, no, 22,000 playing right now uh, with a last 24-hour peak of 35,000. I do know that my boss is one of these people because he periodically <laughs> asks about seven days to die. <laughs> But he, he's also into like Tarkov and Star Citizen and shit. So he, I think I assume his hobbies are like games that will never actually release. But he, appa- apparently this, he might have to drop this one now. Oh, yeah. With the 1.0 curse. This basically leaves us like with our original <laughs> like games that came out on Linux and had Linux support, you know, 12 years ago that are still in early access. We're down to Project Zomboid. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's probably the last I one. I think that was it. 
I, I, I threw out Star Citizen, but that never actually got its legs. Yeah, right. <laughs> mm. Let's keep this moving on because uh, a game that I might not ever finish, man, because I'm stuck in such an atrocious fuck box. <laughs> That seems to be the first experience of Zen for most people, even in the original Half-Life. Uh, this is Black Mesa, though, and uh, I think they're aware of how long it's been since their last patch, because they call this one the Necro Patch. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, uh, no, they, 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 have some, uh, they have some updates. Uh, they're the big one, you know, Linux Gamecast. They're... Giving up on the Linux, uh, the native Linux version, they're... Um, like, how the fuck can they even say that with the straight face? Like, like you ever fucking tried? Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, the last time I tried to even start the game, it wouldn't launch properly, the native yeah. Linux version. So, yeah. And they are using the XVK for the Windows version anyway, so if you just run it with Proton, you're just using the XVK anyway. So, yeah, it's... It's unfortunate, but I can see why they're doing it. Uh, they're have, uh, introducing better uh, controller support. You can actually have, you know, proper Steam Deck. Uh, they actually did a um, bit of a second post about this patch where they basically set the expectations for the deck. It's like, can't really promise that it'll be verified. We're going to try and make it as, you know, compatible with the Steam Deck as possible. Let me possible. ask you a question. Is uh, Half-Life verified for Steam Deck? Uh, the first one is, yes. That's why they did the, that re-release recently. Oh, it is, yeah. is it? Yeah. yeah the- <laughs> Sounds like a them problem. <laughs> but, uh, no, it, also the, uh, I, I like where you stop the, uh, the scroll down there. Virus detection false positive. Yes, according to Windows Defender, it's malware. <laughs> the new version of Black Mesa is malware. They're aware Install of what Vanguard it might have caused. I mean, you're dealing with people that can't get it Steam Deck verified. What do you expect? I mean, they, <laughs> the virus code is messing up the ability. So. I don't know, yeah, man. Like, I'm not against any of this dedicated server. What's the next project, Pedro? Is it the Blue Shift? Yes. That's, uh, that, that, that's... We've already seen a couple of screenshots that they posted, so I... <sighs> yeah. I th- that's that's what they say they're working on anyways. Yeah, uh, and I I hope I hope they get around to doing opposing force because I I, I like mm-hmm. those back in the day. Mm. Um, may- maybe they might even do um decay or um the the multiplayer. Yeah, the, the call like yeah. the 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 PlayStation Two multiplayer one. Just have a Black Mesa version of that. That'd be nice. Yeah. <laughs> No, no, they're going to re redo it. Did, did we were talking about the project that they're doing it on the uh, Source Two? Yeah. It was um, the Half Life, the oh god, I think it, it was like some weird loop, man, of like the remake being made with the old one, but with the new one. Oh, oh, oh yeah, the, yes. the Black Mesa remake. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. they, yeah. Yes. They, they were taking all the level changes and stuff that they did in Black Mesa, and they're back to doing it into SRC. Yeah, okay. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> insanity. Now somebody needs to take that and move it to UE five. Just, <laughs> just, just for fun. How, how does it run on my Switch? <laughs> Well, one thing it's going to do on your Switch is have support for gyro. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, you, you can do the wobble aiming, which might be good. But if we're going to talk about the... Uh, yeah, we're going to stalk about it, baby. Wobble <laughs> aiming. About balls. It. <laughs> golf with your friends. Speed golf is out now. Why? Because we needed more chaos in this uh, absolute chaos game. It's exactly what it says, man. I mean, it's first to the whole wins, which is an interesting... Man, I haven't played that level yet. Uh... You don't get penalized for anything, do you? It's just like whoever gets to the end. Yeah, the... and, and, and any, anything goes... Yeah, this uh, looks like chaos. I think we're going to be playing this after Trek Mania on um, this Friday. Oh, if you want to join in on that in the after shows, and, uh, feel free to. This looks like a fun mode. Yeah, it certain, certainly gives you, like, especially when you're not worried <laughs> about, like, keeping par and whatnot. It right. lets you be a little bit more cavalier. Apparently they added they added brakes too, so you can break your balls if you swing too hard. I mean, yeah, it I, is race mode, so yeah. <laughs> it was pretty For, interesting. Uh, Tokyo uh, in the show notes, like I, I was doing um, grammar checks on show notes because I can, can help myself. I'm I'm a broken human being, and I went to <laughs> c- correct your break, and I was like, wait a minute, wait, wait. That's an intentional pun. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, once this coming out, is it already out? Uh, the out, out, out now. Yeah, it, it, or I guess the critical hit pack is that's the one with all the dice. 
the speed the, golf the race mode is out now that's yeah <laughs> the, 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 that's what the that's what the picture says and they can't lie right <laughs> yeah. it's a picture <laughs> it's in the article it's the very top of the picture so we're, yeah. we're, we're still gonna get some hate mail like you didn't actually read the fucking thing it says this no that was clearly generated by like seven ais or something <laughs> uh i'll i honestly like the, the the racing mode for this i can already hear the grunts and uh people screaming prophetic it's like no fuck no fuck <laughs> I, I i can hear alan go no 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 what they need to add is doom ball yeah, the the, 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 quick, the quick jump. Yeah, yeah quick jump. Yeah, <laughs> make it so it's a great game. I had a good time playing it, and like they've, uh, you know, it's kind of changed ownership. So over the years, from one team to the other, I think the Fun Pimps actually started making uh, the original for this. It used to be kind of janky. They kind of ironed that out and turned it into a respectable game. Also available on consoles these days. So mm-hmm. there you go. Let's talk about everybody's favorite company. Isn't that right, Linus? Oh, he's excited. <laughs> Look at him. Terribly excited. Why? Nuvo. It's new. We thought Nuvo was kind of dead. Like the primary guy that is was effectively the Nuvo project. You know what it was Ben? A couple months ago. Probably closer to a year ago. He just is like, he didn't rage quit. He didn't throw a chair on his way out. He's just like, I'm good. Like I've been working on this for like over a decade. I'm just not feeling it. I'll still be around. I, I might do some patches, but my days of reverse engineering NVIDIA hardware without any fucking documentation NVIDIA are over. I'm just, I'm just, I'm peace now, guys. Don't worry about it. We are like, all right, man, you know what? We talked about it on this very show. It was like, you've done good work. Maybe somebody's going to pick it up. Maybe it's going to keep going. Well, lo and behold, Look who's ben back. Couldn't ben keep away, baby. He's like, you know what? Uh, here's a bunch of patches. How many? 156. He's like, I've been busy, kids. And we're like, knew it. You just couldn't stay away, could you, Ben? Ben's like, well, yeah, I mean, it's pretty good. Might be fixing up some stuff. And like, I was like, all right, that's dope. I'm just like scrolling through it like I'm doing right now. I'm like, oh, okay, additions, deletions. And it just keeps going. So why are we even talking about this? Wow. If you do a control F, <laughs> it, it, and type in NV, NVI, <laughs> you see Ben's new email address at nvidia.com. <laughs> yeah. Huh. That's what you've been up to. Got it. <laughs> Which, you know, part of me like grins because I have to imagine like after you know over a decade of like just smashing up against the brick wall of reverse engineering the nvidia stuff and genuinely being able to go into nvidia and they're like here you go just you get like that first month's like that's how that fucking worked you you, you have to also have to imagine it's like this is what they're fucking doing god oh, damn yeah. it oh, oh yeah i mean yeah production code right <laughs> Like, how does that even work? That even works, but still, he's there. And apparently, I mean, we haven't heard anything about his official position or anything, but they just dropped 150 patches to the Nuvo project. So I'm not complaining. Yeah, I I think I think NVIDIA has like a a vested interest in maintaining a decent open source driver stack because you still need something to actually install the proprietary drivers. Otherwise, that big, expensive NVIDIA card you bought is kind of useless in your server. Um, Also, it. I wonder how much, and again, you, 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 as you mentioned, like, we don't know how long this has been going on or whatever, but like, I'm I wonder assuming, if, uh, like a, two weeks after he left Red Hot. M- maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> cause, cause like there, there's, there's also the, the, the Gia Tan thing where it's like, you know, people are the company, big companies are realizing, Hey, maybe we should pay these open source developers. Uh, pro- probably not related. This is probably just like good coincidence. Yeah, but yeah, it's, well, it's nice I'm pretty see. sure when you end up with the NVIDIA.com email address, you're uh, not just getting like donations. No, they, they, no, there's probably that paperwork and health well, yeah. insurance and shit involved. In <laughs> yeah, that. yeah, yeah, and that's what I mean. Like, you can you can hire people. Like the 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 dude who found the fucking Exit issue, right? He was a Microsoft employee, benchmarking some Postgres shit, right? Like, this is a people, smart move on Nvidia's yeah. part, uh, and you know the the this is the no matter it's win win for everybody, and the conspiracy theorists are gonna go. <laughs> Ah, well, that's one way to stop people from reverse engineering your card and quit peeking around on your hardware. Just hire the guy that's doing it. 
Like, mm-hmm. yeah. Then again, you also have the example of Valve, who's been actively paying uh, developers to fix AMD's drivers. Uh, so, yeah, there's... Uh, yeah, but th- you see, NVIDIA is better. They hire them instead of just making them contractors. That that's the thing. Good uh, guy Jensen, th- isn't that? Don't disappear, <laughs> me, Jensen. This is a very it's a very good thing. Just I giving money to the developer to get them to do what they've been doing all along. It's probably so, a very good idea. Don't fuck it up now, Nvidia. <laughs> and if you're so wondering I, what I, all I, this I, is, it's just a collection of like GS because the GSP firmware got pushed out right before yeah. Ben's like a piece. I'm done and and just general code cleanup. Like just just get the bits kind of lined up because I'm sure. There's going to be a whole lot more coming here. I also wonder, like, uh, in regards to, like, the clean room implementation stuff, there's probably a bunch of stuff that Ben can't, like, contribute to now because he has visibility into, like, proprietary code for, like, liability purposes. Yeah, but he's also got a dump truck full of money. That's, I mean, this, this, this is less so a concern for Ben and more a concern for the Nouveau project. Oh, yeah. I'm sure Ben's <laughs> yeah. fine. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. I, yeah. But ben, ben, Ben's good. Ben. Good on you, Ben. Yeah. Yeah. Another but cheers. This, this, this is just more like, will, will, will they have to, like, oh, we have to reject a couple of these patches because, like, Ben knows how the actual code works. You, you do yeah. think about it, though, man. Like, yeah, they might, but this could, you know, we, we I, like, my head wants to say, like, NVIDIA just, like, sniped him from Red Hat. You know, it's been, it and is very possible too. Right? Could happen, like, and possible. but it could have been a very different timeline. Of Ben genuinely was like, you know what, I'm burnt out on this. I, I've done good. I got some money put away. I'm just going to, you know, t- take a sabbatical for a little while, and maybe he was chilling out. Then, you know, just out of the sky, a leather jacket floats down, lands next <laughs> to him, and he wasn't thinking twice about it because it's a harmless leather jacket. Put it up, boom, Nvidia employee. That's how that happens. That's how they. Get no, you. no, the, the leather jacket <laughs> fell, and there's just like wads of cash in the pockets. And he's like, oh, oh, I see how it is. <laughs> Right, that's how we're doing it. Okay, <laughs> but I mean, it could have been a situation where Nvidia is like, "All right, we got to get serious about this open source shit because we got to be moving all this X, Y, and Z, and everybody wants, you know, they don't want to deal with our proprietary fucking drivers and server space now because X reasons." And uh, we got to get the, on this. Those those AI for- farms have a lot of machines that you need to manage, right? Like, right. And then yes, <laughs> the, I couldn't think of a better person to hire. Yeah, no, <laughs> hire the guy who, like, has shown to know what he's doing. And and again, like, yeah, it's better, better to have Ben than another Gia 10, right? All right, motherfuckers. Did either of you grow up with a delicious taste of six degrees of freedom in your face? No. Six DOF TIE gaming. Fighter. <laughs> my, lots my, my, and lots of TIE Fighter and Wing Commander. <laughs> I saw a trailer for one of the descents that came with my CD copy at Half-Life. <laughs> I, if, I, if I'm remembering that right, you know it's great that you bring up Descent because our next story, Pedro Mateus, it is very much Descent Three. You may remember a long time ago we threw chairs at it when it came out on Linux. Yes, and um, well, the source code is now out. GPL three, it's on GitHub. Uh, you can uh, check it out. Uh, you can build it on Linux. Uh, there's uh, some concerned efforts of uh, getting it. You know building it properly and improved uh on linux they did strip out some of the proprietary interplay middleware no official word from interplay directly uh to interplay which is uh relevant these days because the fallout show is kind of popular and they're the original rights holders for fallout 1 and fallout 2 and Icewind Dale and Icewind Dale 2 and a bunch of other games they were a fairly prolific publisher back in the day but yeah, they haven't said anything official, but uh, apparently the dev got the go ahead from at least one person there. So, eh. and uh, yeah, considering the state that Interplay themselves are in, it's probably better if they don't say anything. Because, uh, well, I mean, as- according to the guy who like releases said this for 15 years, he just called up the owner and he's like, hey, can I release this with these bits? And they're like, <laughs> yeah, sure. I don't that's, think that, yeah. I mean, anything beyond that is just speculation. <laughs> Yeah, that's fair enough. And it is, this is like the best case scenario because, you know, Roscott has been on a kick of uh, stopkillinggames.com. Uh, and this is the best case scenario. You have an old game that maybe doesn't work properly on modern day operating systems. Release the source code. Let people have at. Let, let people play your game. It's seriously, just let people play the game that you spent a bunch of money and a bunch of time building. Just let them do it. 
<laughs> I, I I have nothing really to add to this. I have no opinion on dissent whatsoever. Why not? It's cool to what see. Are you gonna cool. get Why do you hate six degrees of freedom? I just hate freedom in general. I want I want one degree of freedom. I want to go forward and backwards. And may, maybe even going backwards is a little too much. O- only forwards. Let's You're thinking that. to yourself, man, what do I need? I just download it and play it. No, you, let me tell you how this is going to work out. You need the original buy. You need your game assets. So you probably pop over to Gogger. You get it on Steam for like a buck or whatever it costs these days. Linux, uh, there'll be a link to a repo of um, the Land- work in progress. Lanadon is working on it. I like right when this came out, I dropped it in our Discord and I, I tried to build it. And I was like, I'm complaining about something. And like, you know, a Fento second after that, Rohit's like, yep, crashing there. And fin- he started looking at it. He found this guy who's already uh, working on um, the, getting it to work on modern Linux. Multiplayer doesn't work right now. So, and a couple other niceties. It'll be good to see. I mean, it's there. For, this is how you preserve shit right here, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you release the source. And I'm always happy to see it. And sometimes all it takes is that phone call. So if you're in that position, like maybe you've been sitting around with source code. 15 years like this guy and they're like yeah well you know there's some things like you know video encoding stuff that we'd have to replace and never get around to it just make that come like hey we're just gonna release it in this state and like whoever has it and you might be surprised they might just go yeah go ahead sometimes though you need a little bit of encouragement sometimes you need a little bit of kitty to to sprinkle on that maybe a little help to uh to, oh, re- to reverse to, re- to release that source code <laughs> yeah so uh this comes from bleeding bleeping computer.com all of the links to all this stuff are in our show notes as usual yeah so you might remember a while ago hello kitty had a bit of old ransomware epidemic and a bunch of people had their files scooped up and uh ransomed and apparently they have uh the hacker group has finally cookie or cappuccino um, it's finally made good on their threat and released a bunch of uh, a big old dump, including some CD Projekt Red uh, code that includes uh, The Witcher, Cyberpunk, Gwent, a bunch of their dev tools. And by some, you mean enough to compile Witcher 3. Yeah, it, well, I, yep. I, I, was, I was getting to that. They, 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 do, <laughs> they do have it compiled now from source. Uh, and I am looking forward to Open Itcher 3. And like, I, I, just, I just think back to, you know, back when Steam machines were coming out and they're like, yeah, Witcher 3 native on Linux. And I'm like, oh, my God, the prophecy Street Fighter 5 is finally going to release <laughs> on Linux. But no, this is uh, this is very cool. I look forward to all of the Liam Hensworth mods that are coming out <laughs> through this. Um, yeah, yeah um, I, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, having access to the source code actually makes the modding scene for the Witcher 3. <laughs> A bit more vibrant you know, and a bit more variety to the mods because there's only so many nudie mods and uh, skimpy outfits for Siri that you can get. <laughs> I, I want big old tits on Geralt. That's what I want. <laughs> Both of you are missing. We are, we need Witcher 3 Arena. Open Witcher 3 Arena. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Where Geralt just goes, Hup. No. Uh-uh. <laughs> when I hit people with my sword, it goes, doop. <laughs> 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 Dude, when that first came out, we were beta testing. Um, yes, way back when, when there was a beta test for Quake 3 Arena and it had a Linux client because we were just living in the future. Loki games existed in like AAA titles. You just played them on Linux. That wasn't a big deal. None of us believed that that sound was going to make it to the final game. Like that's just a placeholder asset that doop, doop, doop. everybody knows what I'm talking about. If you played Quake 3, the hit marker sound. <laughs> I myself included, I was floored when I played I'm like what? Fuck you guys, man. Like, (laughs) they just kept it in there. Uh, Yeah, it it does suck because uh, CD Projekt Red just started rolling out uh, limited access on Steam to, like, their, like, steroided up, like, level designer and creator and modifier for Witcher 3. Um, Yeah, you never, like, see stuff like this, but, I mean, game preservation or something, I don't know, whatever. Could, could be helpful as well. We were talking uh, a couple weeks ago about that guy who was l- digging through um, digging through old dumps of the Source Engine code to figure out why people couldn't play Counter-Strike on a Thursday. Uh, mm-hmm. So, like, this kind of stuff is useful, even if they do uh, release the, uh, the like, a full-on modding tools. You probably want to use that anyways, because, like, this is the one that the devs, developers are actively supporting. But, you know, when when you get into some weird situations about, like, hey, this thing isn't behaving the way I expected, being able to look at the code and go, like, Oh, that's why it's kind of handy, especially for like single player games and stuff like this. And, you know, sometimes this might be a good nudge in the right direction for, you know, CD Projekt Red to be like, OK, let's rip out any third party stuff and like make it an official controlled release. So yes. people aren't downloading 
the bonus Witcher 3 free exe.ru.cx w- 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 edition. Witcher 3.ru, yeah. A slash minor. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, and it does put them in that position because I know if I'd sit there, I'm like, shit, Ari, we, we got to get this together and make an official channel for it because these morons out there will just download, you know, free Witcher, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And they will. And someone will uh, absolutely make a killing off of pushing more ransomware out to people. Yes. I mean, However, that, that, that's probably one of the pirated copies of Witcher 3 out there anyways, right? <laughs> yeah. Mark my words. I give you my, my solemn word, pinky swear. Uh, if we get Witcher 3 co-op mod, we'll play some Witcher. The Coocher? <laughs> the Coopcher. <laughs> who, who could, uh, P- Pedro, you gotta play as Dandelion, though. <laughs> oh, you get some loot. <laughs> I want to be Roach. You, uh, you know what? You you get that and uh, AK forty seven. All right, that's the only two. <laughs> ah, so so what's your Power World edition? Yeah, you're just yes. like you can, you can have the grenade launcher. I'm the Bard with the grenade launcher. I'm gonna be Geralt in my tank like normal. <laughs> yeah, I'm 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 gonna get I'm gonna I'm be Roach. But I'm gonna have, like a giant like laser gun mounted on my back. No, you're just Siri, Jordan. You you get to play Siri. <laughs> no, see, Siri, Siri is an actual character. I want to be. Yes. I want to be something useless. <laughs> you know what? I wouldn't mind playing. A, what's his name? The dwarf uh, guy. Oh yeah, the tavern. Well, the, yeah. I can't remember his name. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, somebody bring it up. If it's, you, it's, 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 one, it's one of the seven dwarves. That's who it's supposed to be. Yes, right? Snow White <laughs> showed up. You know, with Uzis, it's brilliant. If you want to tell us what that dwarf's name is, what you think about uh, game source code getting leaked, and, uh, you know, just in general, game preservation, what are, what's thoughts in your brain meets? I'll tell you to do that. Head over to LinuxGameCast.com. We've got a contact button. That's how you get a hold to us. There's a little box down there. Type some stuff in. If that's not your thing, drop a comment on the YouTube video. Fam, smash a bell or some shit. And if you like the video, I guess click them. But if you don't like the video, really let youtube know i want you to click that thumbs down twice At, okay co- com- comment some more drive up that engagement or yeah. don't man we don't, have the most don't, don't no, do that. Uh, we we have like the most talkative in our super secret discord <laughs> versus like in the same people that would be like meh on a youtube comment but like yeah. paragraphs <laughs> discord and like all right cool man uh, Mo- mode switching man it's what it is. but if you throw some stuff in our direction we might read it right here on this very show and uh we got a, a little bit of mention we we talked about not uh panzer dragoons because i read oh it's the dragon game my brain immediately went Let, let's fly around and drag with not our, that one in dragons <laughs> yeah, no, yes no, 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 let's no, put no, in no, our no, dragon no, suits not, not sega sony oh. yeah uh yeah this is uh, from the the makers of severed chains drew writes back and says hey there thank you for taking a uh, taking a moment to look at severed chains this is just the beginning for the program too we just started cracking open multiplayer for the purposes of, like long distance co-op and pvp in the hero competition do give us another look later in the year that's pretty cool i do know that i if i remember this right um there may have been like a native p2 in um legend of dragoon because you could have like multiple people like take on a single player or uh I don't know. I want to write them back. I, I, and I might like, be thinking of uh, fi- one of the Final Fantasies did that. Uh, so this is like RPG, right? Yeah, it is an RPG. This is kind of, mm-hmm. we have Final Fantasy. Um, yeah, it's, 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 it's Final a Fantasy. JRPG yeah. of that time, yes. <laughs> yeah. Now, it, it, it was very much a response to like the Final Fantasy 7. He does say long era. distance multi. What, what about moderate distance multiplayer? <laughs> Can't do it. Damn it. It's, 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 you it's might too be fast. Able- yeah, you might be able to do the next city over, but if you're sitting like across the street from one another, can't do it. <laughs> I mean, that that looks like some PlayStation Pixels, doesn't it? Yeah, yes. it, I mean, it's, it's it's a PS1 game, right? Like, yeah, we're, we're, it's a we're, JRPG we're ex- from ar- around 1995-ish. <laughs> Admittedly, yeah, Wobbly Pixels is a video game. You know, you remember how that works. <laughs> Uh, I mean, we, we we did take a look at Sever Chains, and it does look a lot more crisp than mm-hmm. than this. If you if you turn on this, they have the 4K mode, which yes, it, it it you can count the polygons on the characters' heads at that point. It's great. No it, it, man, it's, it's, you, you got to like play it in the bit, original it, four by three at one twenty by one twenty one aspect. <laughs> it's like going through new model Metal Gear Solid games with like the the PS one head. It's great because like everyone has like super emotive faces, and you're just like. <laughs> Rectangle? Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> hey, everybody involved with this project, if you're still listening, uh, yeah, keep up the great work with us. Um, yeah, mm-hmm. I listen, I don't even play these types of games, but if you give me some multiplayer, I'll join these guys and we'll, uh, I don't know, slap whatever the scorpions and birds and stuff like that. We'll, we'll, we'll legend all the dragoons. Yeah. Can, can I be the flying dragon? <laughs> we'll take you turns can. slapping dra- oh, you dragons. Can. Yes. You can. You, you tra- <laughs> part, one, of, one of the deals in this game is you transform into a dragon. Can you fly around? I don't think so. See, deal breaker. I said flying dragon. <laughs> I don't want to I mean, they, they, they fly in the combat screen. They fly their dragons got to walk everywhere, man. It, what, what, it, dragons are expensive, man. Do you think uh, they have Game of Thrones money? Roller skates is all flying is, uh, Look, it's, it's like games nowadays where jumping is contextual, flying is contextual. <laughs> no, j- j- if, if you want to jump, you got to pay extra. It's like, ten, <laughs> like 0.01 cents a jump. How far, how many years away are we from like double jump being a uh, fucking um, microtransaction? They would do it right now if they think they could get away with it. Yeah. They would have done it years ago if they thought they could get away with it. Can so, you just imagine that you're playing like a 2D platform in Metroidvania and you just can't get up there? Then you're like, wait, what's going on? You go to online and you're like, oh, you got to buy the double they, jump. They straight yeah, up wanted you either like, what, what, what was it? Richatello was like, no, you got to like, when you're playing a shooter, when you run out of bullets, there should be a little prompt that says, do you want to buy more bullets? Just shoot them into your, load them into your guns. So you can keep shooting. That's, that, that's what they want. <laughs> Wasn't he the one who called people a fucking idiot uh, if they weren't actively maximizing profits in their games all the time? Yeah, I mean, I, mean, if I you're call a company, people fucking idiots all the time. Money, so. yes. <laughs> people walking around thinking companies care about them. I'm like, wake the hell up, children. Um, <laughs> I mean, they've done that with like, I, heard, I saw somebody go on about World of Warcraft. And like, I'm, I've never played World of Warcraft, but they were talking about just why, why how it was kind of the beginning of with the mount. Right. And you pay with yep. them out and they were like, this is the end. People thought I was crazy. And like, now you can buy gold with money. Yeah. Yeah. That, I'm, I'm, I mean, that, that's like a whole on cottage industry now. Like, yeah. It, it in used my to day, be you just the side people industries. to farm gold and you had to buy it from a third party. Mm-hmm. No. You now, get... now you can, instead of, you know, paying the third party, you pay the. Yeah. Game you just, developer you, you, directly. You, you, you put the money right into Bobby Kotick's pocket. He just opens it yeah. up and you stick the cash in there and you get your wild gold. Awesome. Hey, if you want to put some uh, Bobby Kotick's in our pockets, you can do that. Do, do you scheme. have a Kotick in your pocket? Or are you just happy pocket? To see? <laughs> a little bit of none, man. A little bit of none. Smash that can. <laughs> so I'm, Smash that Kotick button. Fam. No, no Kotick buttons. <laughs> We're not doing it, Brain. Get out of here. Uh, we have a Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Linux Gamecast, where you can get this show in downloadable format, higher quality than you're going to get on YouTube or any place else or Odyssey. We make that available commercial free. It even snuck in uh, our cocaine, toucane, Voltron, titanium server. Your song as a download last week if you want that and uh, access to our pre pre super shows and that we do before the show each and every week. It's what passes for our production meeting air quotes around production meeting on that, but you can <laughs> we participate. Talk, we talked about soup or some shit. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, super uh, some t- shit. Talk about food. Talk about the shows that we watch. I talk about <laughs> feel uncomfortable saying that there's anything remotely <laughs> resembling a topic. Some, just, sometimes sometimes some stuff escapes the pre-pre-super shows and, and makes it into the main show. Yes. So yes, if you want that little, little crumb dumb, of content. Right. You're like, hey, wait a minute. Oh, <laughs> you yeah. can get that reference. Yeah. Yes. Think of it as deals. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> think of it as a horse you can buy in Elder Scrolls. Yes. Uh, no, just the armor for the, or- of the we're gonna horse. We're going to give you that in MP3 <laughs> format uh, along with the live and uncut. If you can't make the live shows, but you want that live experience, you can always wait a week. It's on our Live and Uncut channel on YouTube if you want that. But you're like, fuck YouTube, I ain't got time for that. Give an MP3 of that if you want to download it. That's available for patrons. We get a bunch of different tiers, a bunch of different accesses. And one of the big ones is access to our Discord. We got a super secret Discord where we're at the other six days of the week, just talking smack. Everybody uses it. We're all in there. And uh, it's it's a ride. Let me just put it like that. It's a ride. Thank you for your support. Things are possible. But I want to thank a long time um, member. Of our little Motley crew, Turbo one, Trace one, Slot. One, one of your <laughs> filthy casuals. <laughs> one of our filthy casuals. You can always hop into our Discord if you're a Twitch subscriber. You can link it up. Same way with Patron. Uh, it's just to keep the re out. And he's been playing with us. Uh, we do Trek Mania on Tuesdays and Fridays. New maps. It's great. If you're old, 
and you feel like you need that break from adulting on a Tuesday or Friday, it's a great, <laughs> great excuse to get together with fellow like-minded olds and like back in my day, but still trying to keep your digits lined up with your brain mates, you know, trying to do something a little bit engaging. And even if you're not into racing, cause it's really more like physics platforming, come check it out. But he's been a member for a long time. And he's the reason to set up the RPG server. And uh, he's like, you know what? I won't put a ring on it. He's joined us at the Chicago kicks ass level of six, six, six. That's oh, right. Not evil it when right it does there. handstands, <laughs> man. And I had to explain to him last night, me and Oki were talking back and forth. I was like, do you know where Chicago kicks ass comes from? He, he did not. Mm. He, he, <laughs> I, I guess he needs to watch more Adam Sandler movies. Well, we were, we were talking about the Happy uh, Gilmore remake, or not remake, but sequel that's coming out. And yeah, we worked it back. If you don't know, well, watch Little Nicky, and you'll understand where uh, Chicago kicks ass comes from. It's, it's, it's the shiznit of a movie, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Turbo. Your name's going to be in the credits that are about to roll because it's time to cue the music. Mm, you can check this out every Saturday night, 8.30 Eastern Standard Moon Time, right here on Twitch. It's on the schedule over at twitch.tv. It's a podcast. We're available everywhere. Go download it. Put it in your face. And if you want to get in touch with me, I'm Vin Stone on the X's, on the Twitters. And uh, we have a federated uh, Mastodon instance, mass.linuxgamecast.com. I'm just at Vin there. And I'm probably still the only Vin that uses uh, blue sky dot social or dot bisky app or whatever it's called. I'm Jordan. If you want to shove pineapples into my holes, you can find me on Mastodon at Frojo at mass.nextgamecast.com at Frojo at bsky.app or at the burning fool on Twitter. And I am Pineapple. at unaccounted for on mass.linuxgamecast.com. Follow me there. If you post interesting stuff on any of the federated ones that our particular instance can see, I will totally follow you back. Are we federated with threads? Do we do we get Facebook now? I yeah, I gotta finish up setting know. Pedro's LinkedIn profile up. Give me a minute. <laughs> okay. <laughs> His sexy LinkedIn I technically profile. We still have a LinkedIn profile. Yeah. I just don't use it. <laughs> you gotta make it your sexy one. Get, get all the bands. <laughs> I gotta well, I get we some sexy clothes the first. Uh, the, just the ask to take some sexy pictures and away we go. <laughs> I want to see what Pedro thinks a sexy picture of himself looks like. <laughs> we got to thank our advisors, Omega Sartherum, our executive producers, Barbara M. Scott, Atomic, Mike, Tomaj, David, Eshep, Ian, Kernucky, 12345, and our Chicago kicks ass here with new members. Uh, fucking Tree Sloth, King, jo- King Bond, <laughs> Eggy, Empty, and Super Desto. I'd do that in reverse order. And the Sea Monsters, Renault, Rider X, Machina, Torchy, Veritanuta, Justin, Darkwing, System D, Denzing, Joe, DeCresney, and Ogie One. With the Death Notes, Nafa, Chad, uh, Romeo, Renee, Leonardo, Kim, Chris, Stephen, Jill, Benjamin, Doom, 2. Wad, Stephen B, Back, Dodger, Zeno, Rue, Turnover, Pebble, M. Fox Ox, Fine, Jalo, and Piper. They're so tiny, but I still got him. <laughs> and I, all the chairlings, yes. like D Spec 12 and Casey Clism from last week, didn't get a proper thank you. Thank you, Casey. <laughs> and the fuckers flying in the distance. Gimli wouldn't help him out, man. I tried. I was like, Gimli, Gimli, can, can you give me a picture of a sexy Pedro? And I was like, nah, man. That's dead. Confidently thing. striding through a bustling <laughs> city street with a pint of a smile playing on his lips. Or maybe he's gazing intensely, in, intently in the distance, a glint of determination in his eye. <laughs> can you can you give me either of those, Pedro? A sexy glint. Give me a sexy glint. Boy looks constipated. Yeah, I would call the cops. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Safe bet. Die to fire, everyone. We'll see you next week. Five dudes.